Hi guys, and welcome back to the Birds Party channel. Today, as you can see, I'm outside in my studio garden because I have a really cool DIY project to share with you that is perfect for summer. So basically, I have upcycled some trash into a really fun and practical outdoor farmhouse bar. Like I said, I have styled this little table, this little bench as an outdoor bar and it's perfect to serve drinks when you're having a barbecue at home with your family or a cookout, but it would also be ideal to serve desserts, snacks or even to be used as a potting bench if you're a king gardener. So I hope you like these ideas and feel inspired to turn some trash into treasure and create this really functional, really cool table for all your summer entertaining needs. Before you get started, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the bell button so you're notified each time I upload a new video. With that being said, let's get crafting. So basically this table is started off its life as you can see as a really old battered little dresser it's a dresser that we inherited when we moved into the house it was from the previous owners and we kind of did a lick of paint very quickly and my daughter used it for a while as a little uh, writing desk as you can see the drawers really stuck uh, because it'd been painted and it's looking really sorry for itself uh, all the paint is chipped as you can see you know and it's been sitting in a garage for such a long time uh, until this summer where we decided to kind of you know upcycle it and do something with it and the first thing that I did basically was to take a little scraper you know on these uh, paint scrapers and kind of try and remove as much of the white paint as possible from the table and uh, as you can see underneath it had kind of a, like a, a green emulsion kind of paint that somebody used uh, prior to paint the table and so the top coat was flaky and it was really in bad condition so I needed a scraper uh, obviously if you're using uh, something similar like a dresser or a table that you might have thrifted uh, the treatment that you're going to use for your table is going to be slightly different depending on what condition it's in uh, so if it's painted you might need to use a paint stripper or something else but be sure that whatever you're doing to these kind of old pieces of furniture especially if it's got paint that you don't know where it's come from use a mask as you can see it's not very glam glamorous <laughs> uh, but uh, it's totally necessary so you don't breathe in any of the dust any of the fumes or anything else that nasty stuff that might be coming off uh, from your piece of furniture I should also mention to you guys as well that um, it's best to do this kind of you know treatment taking off the paint outdoors so that you don't damage any of your flooring inside and I actually put a sheet uh, kind of like an old curtain underneath the table so to catch all the little uh, bits of uh, flaky paint and it wouldn't go all over my yard now when I finished taking off as much paint as I could by hand with a little scraper I just took a kind of like a, a medium uh, electric sander but with a medium um, pad on it and then I moved on to a more heavy duty one for the flat surfaces as you can see this one really helped me to uh, strip the paint it's not a paint stripper it's just a sander uh, but it really helped for the flat surfaces and the areas that are a little bit bigger but for the smaller areas I use the other sander that you saw just to get into each little nook and cranny and make sure that all the surfaces were actually not free of paint completely because it wasn't necessary uh, but basically that the surfaces was actually smooth and I could add a uh, uh, a paint treatment on top without getting any um, marks underneath as you can see so most of the paint came off with a big sander as you can see here I couldn't get anything else uh, off uh, not by hand anyway with the two sanders and it revealed this kind of paint and the effect is kind of cool so if you like kind of like the shabby chic farmhouse really really vintage you probably leave the table like this and just give a little dusting or something or add some sort of protection on top but because I was going for a modern farmhouse look uh, this uh, this look didn't match with uh, what I had in mind so all I did afterwards was just take a kind of like a damp rag and just wiped off all the the dust you know that came off from the sander and just make sure that everything was nice and clean and let it dry a little bit before I did uh, my paint treatment 
And what you can see here is my thumb pointing to where we're going to cut this palette. So the idea basically is to use uh, whatever you've got handy, you know, uh, bits of old fencing or trellis. And we have this old palette at home, you know, again in the garage, sitting there gathering dust. And I just asked my husband to trim it in half. So that we use only half of it and kind of attach it to the back of the dresser so that the dresser would have a little... A wall at the back if you know what I mean and where I could hang little things add little hooks and everything so you can either use uh, an electric uh, saw as you saw him cutting half of the palette but if you haven't got one you can use a hand saw it works just as well you know just takes a little bit longer and you just trim whatever pieces of wood that you have available to you to kind of you know uh, pimp up <laughs> the little dresser and what I did uh, was ask him to drill a few holes on the back and he kindly agreed to help me out and screwed the palette to the back of the dress as you can see here uh, there's no rhyme or reason uh, to this stage there's no like set rules basically it will depend on what kind of table and kind of wood that you have available but basically he just screwed everything in place and it was quite sturdy on the back of the dresser so I'm just showing you here uh, that we used uh, four screws large screws to attach the palette bits that we cut or that he cut to the back of the dresser and then when we turned the whole thing um, you know the right way we decided to add one large screw as well on the front of the dress as you can see just to kind of secure the palette to the back a little bit more and once all that was done I just used some grey paint it's kind of called titanium and it's a satin paint because I intended to use this little table as a drink station like I said so it'd be easier to clean if I drop any food any liquids or anything else but once again feel free to use whatever colors or whatever paints are available to you you don't have to use satin you could use matte you don't even have to paint it at all like I said you know if you like that kind of rustic really rustic farmhouse look just leave it as it is um, and just basically I did one coat of this paint it's kind of looking a bit white on camera but it was a very light grey and I wanted a light colour um, for two reasons one because it will match the patio furniture that we have as well really well but also because if I style for different occasions or different holidays and celebrations say 4th of July or even style it as an outdoor coffee bar in the in the fall or in the autumn then I have kind of like a neutral base to decorate with so if I painted it like a really dark grey for instance it wouldn't look really nice in the summer perhaps or if I painted it some different color like a blue or even if I left it as the green it wouldn't match with certain colors and I wanted something quite versatile that I could change up the decor you know to suit whatever season and whatever holiday I was decorating for so basically all I did was to paint the whole thing and let it dry before I attach some really cool uh, hooks and little shelves here and there just to pimp up the little table even more and make it even more functional and practical for outdoor use. Now, as you probably noticed, this little dresser had a drawer. It wasn't uh, a functioning drawer because it wouldn't fit into the dresser properly. So I had to sand the edges, get rid of some of the paint uh, so it would fit in there properly. And then I decided to line it for two reasons, to make it more practical and easier to use. So if once again we had food or drinks spilled inside or anything else like that, it was easier to clean but also to hide the massive crack that you can see there. Uh, obviously you don't have to do this, uh, so I decided to use some contact paper to hide the whole thing and cover the bottom of the drawer. But you, could, you could use some wood filler maybe, or some grout or spackling to kind of fill in the hole and then just paint the whole thing, so that's one option. Uh, but I had this contact paper at home and you know I just thought, I've just fed up of painting. So I decided to add that and it worked really well, it just, covers up the hole and makes the whole thing um, you know the whole drawer much more um, user friendly and perfect to store um, cutlery or little tea towels or anything else 
you know that you're using uh, the table for so there's an idea for you and once I cut the contact paper to size it was just basically a matter of peeling the back and just using my hands to smooth it out uh, as much as possible any air bubbles obviously you could use a little credit card or a little scraper for this uh, for this part but I didn't I didn't feel the need to in this occasion so it was quite easy to go on as you can see Now to further accessorize my little uh, outdoor bar or my little farmhouse potting bench, whatever you want to call it, I wanted to add some shelving here and there to the front and to the sides as well to make it even more practical. And I used uh, some of the wood that was left over from the pallets that we had cut and I asked my husband to cut it to size and I just used the same paint that I painted the dresser with, you know, the same light grey paint to paint the little shelf. And the second shelf was uh, one of these interior shelves that you can buy, you know, cheaply, probably the Dollar Tree in the US, you know, just to add little plants, you know, it's an indoor shelf and it had a ni really nice black iron detail which I really liked for my modern farmhouse um, vibe that I was going for for this uh, for this table. So I decided to paint the whole thing again because it had a bit on the bottom that looked like a bit of wood. It wasn't real wood, but um, I decided to paint the whole thing grey so it matched with the dresser a little bit better. And you'll see in a moment how I used these two pieces, but I just wanted to show you guys uh, what I did to them to uh, bring them in, in the same style of the dresser, if you like. And so basically for this project, I just used uh, and recycled or repurposed uh, objects and materials that already had a home. The only thing that I did buy was the paint. But once again, because I wanted a specific color, you know, I could have used white paint, which I had at home. But just comes to show that you don't always need to buy everything, you know, new bits of materials, new bits of equipment to create something cool for your home, whether it's a piece of decor or a piece of furniture like this. So, you know, scour your home, uh, look at thrift stores or anything else that you can repurpose, recycle or reuse to give it a brand new life. And so basically to attach the first little shelf to the front of my table, uh, we use the spirit level just to mark where to place uh, the screws and the brackets. And I use a couple of metal brackets that I had at home. They were black. So the color scheme I was going for for this table was the gray with the black accents. So uh, we just screw that in place and voila. Now for the second little shelf, we attached it to the side of the table, as you can see here, level with the bottom shelf of the dresser. This was also to stop anything that we placed on the shelf from falling on the sides and also to ensure that we could insert uh, tool bottles, you know, uh, if you're using this for a barbecue table, like uh, bottles of sauces or as a drink station, cocktail shakers and, you know, large spirit bottles or anything else like that. So basically we just screw that in place and once again, it was easy as pie and on the front of my table i wanted to add some uh, hooks and i had found some really cool uh, farmhouse looking hooks at my local equivalent of the dollar tree and if i find anything else online i'll be sure to leave the link down in the description box for you guys say like amazon or somewhere like that but basically these um, add-ons are totally optional uh, but i thought these large hooks would be really cool to hang mugs or cups or uh, tea towels or utensils or anything else like that and the last little accessory or add-on that I decided to incorporate to my table was some more hooks on the other side of the table, you know, the opposite side of the little shelf. And I just took an old coat hanger that wasn't being used and once again I repurposed the hooks from that and sprayed them matte black to match my uh, table a little bit better. And when they were dry it was just a matter of screwing them on the side of the table as you can see here. and. Um, it was just as easy as that. 
Now, because we didn't have any black screws, as you probably have noticed, uh, all I did at the end was take uh, my Sharpie paint pen that you can buy online. I'll leave a link in the description box for you guys as well. But I'm sure you can buy something similar, any craft store, even the Dollar Tree. And I just went in just to cover the metal parts of the screws. And this is totally optional. This is like a detail that most people wouldn't even care about. Uh, but because I had time on my hands, <laughs> I just took my little pen and just went in uh, on the screws and just painted them black so that it matched the hooks and all the details and all the accessories a little bit better. But like I said, this is totally optional. And there you have it, you guys. This is my whole uh, farmhouse outdoor bar all styled and we actually got to use it uh, for the first time on a Father's Day weekend and we set up a little drink station and this would be perfect if you like making cocktails or just really just to serve drinks and just have somewhere to place all your cups and everything else when you're uh, entertaining outdoors uh, for your family and just having like I said a barbecue or cookout or even a picnic or anything else like that but once again you can use uh, an idea like this and use an old table a thrifted table or uh, some old palettes to create a little table uh, for uh, displaying desserts snacks uh, just as a buffet table or to use as a little uh, potting bench if you like to garden and you know somewhere to store your tools and uh, your gardening gloves and everything else like that and I am absolutely in love with this and we are actually using it all the time since the weather has been so nice whenever we're out uh, barbecuing and not just for drinks but like I said you know to serve side dishes to have it as a little buffet table next to the barbecue and it's super super handy. And I also wanted to mention to you guys that if you haven't seen this before but this really pretty farmhouse lemon print can be downloaded from my site and I'll leave the link down in the description box for you. And there is also a DIY for the really pretty galvanized drinks uh, stand that I have made here on the channel and I'll also leave the link to that DIY in the description box for you guys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the ideas and feel inspired to create something similar for your home, uh, for uh, decorating your house, your patio or your terrace this summer. And once again, if you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel, but also lets me know that you like this kind of content so I can make more of it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having a wonderful summer. See you next time. Bye bye.